Welcome to the Home for Innovation. It's an election year, time for us to decide who our president is going to be for the next four years, and this may be one of the most important elections our country's ever faced. So I have two requests for you. The first one's very simple. Get out and vote. Less than half of us have voted in the past elections, which is embarrassing. We have the opportunity to do so. Let's make our voice heard. Second request is vote intelligently. Do your homework. Find out the facts. So if you believe in manufacturing, like we do here at the Home for Innovation, there's really a few things you want to think about. Number one, transportation and energy costs. We need a government that's looking at providing consistently cost-effective energy to this country. And we got to make sure we got somebody in leadership that's got a program for that. We also got to make sure they got a program for dealing with U.S. market demand to sell the rest of the, uh, the world on the idea that we are the consumers to the globe. And we've got to make sure we're positioned correctly in that discussion. Number three, U.S. talent. We've got to make sure we're investing in education of all forms from kindergarten right through your Ph.D., our educational system is going to be the foundation of our success as we move forward. Availability of capital is absolutely critical to any economy, but certainly to ours. Our banking system has to be stable, reliable, and continue to provide funding to private industry. And tax and regulatory climate. We've got to make sure our leadership understands that we can't tax and regulate industry to death. There's a point in time for this, but at some point we go far beyond what is necessary, and we really provide an encumbrance to manufacturing in terms of being successful. So it's time to get out and vote and make your voice heard. And when you're doing so, make sure you're thinking about what's driving our economy, what's driving jobs, and make sure your kids are going to have an opportunity for the future. We'll see you here next time on The Home for Innovation.